Last week, I posted a video talking about the ridiculousness of a pastor that comes under fire from the congregation for simply praying for Donald Trump. I don't attack the congregation in this video. I don't attack the pastor. I don't call for actions of violence against them. I don't even call for boycotting of the church. I simply point out in my video that as Christians, shouldn't we want to pray for everyone? Because I thought that was kind of the point. We received this notification from Facebook just a couple days ago, letting us know that our video violates their community standards in regard to hate speech. That's right, calling for prayer for the President of the United States, much less anyone, saying that real Christians should pray for people is now classified as hate speech on Facebook. This is not a call to action to ask for money or subscriptions or downloads. Steven Crowder, Ben Shapiro, we all live in the same sector. But things like this is exactly why it's really important. To live in a society where Miley Cyrus can push abortion, where Planned Parenthood can have marketing strategies on how to sexualize and glorify the murdering of babies, to have the glorification of child drag queens be featured all over the internet, to have members of Congress inciting violence and anti-Semitic slurs against people, but yet asking for prayer for the president is considered hate speech? To have Jim Carrey portray and paint a photo of the governor of Alabama being sucked out of the womb, basically proving that abortion is murder. To have Samantha Bee be able to call Ivanka Trump a feckless, you know what? But asking for prayer for the president is hate speech. What kind of a society are we growing? What kind of place are we leading for our future generations and our children? where free speech is actually under attack under the veil of social media control. That's right, right now, to this day, there is an active attack on our First Amendment rights and they're using social media and community standards to try to change the fact that they actually want to control what we say and what we think and what we feel for their leftist media narrative. It's times like this and it's times like now that we band together and stand up as one movement and support each other. Because if we don't, this will become the new standard of the American way.